When I uh, went to work between Mr. Kazan and Mr. Hitchcock, uh, I never starred in anything for Mr. Kazan, but when I got to Mr. I did a little part in Marnie, and 12 years later I was a star of Family, Family Plot. Plot. Yeah. And I asked him, I said, Hitch, why, why'd you pick me for this role? He said, well, Mr. Pacano, he calls Al Pacino Pacano. <laughs> he says, Mr. Pacano wanted a million dollars. I didn't even pay Paul Newman a million dollars. He said, I cast you because you're unpredictable. Nobody knows what you're going to do next, including me. <laughs> he said, however, in my office, I have 1,214 perfect frames on the wall. But when I look at them, they're not entertaining. And Barbara Harris, who was my partner, mm -hmm. he says, you and Barbara, and Barbara's very good at this, too, yeah. off the wall. You, uh, you know, are entertaining. We never know what you're going to do next. So that was where I first felt, well, whatever I'm doing, I'm on the right track. Right and then, then, oddly enough, I went, the next thing I did was with Bob Rosen and Frankenheimer on Black Sunday. And Bob Rosen, who helps run this uh, Port Townsend Film uh -huh. Festival, and I'm produced Black Sunday. And they gave me a chance, and they walked around every day calling me Dr. Death. And on the call sheet, my name was Dr. Death, because <laughs> I was going to kill 87,000 people in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Know? And uh, um, they liked me because on the journey to that day, you realize what a fragile, sick guy this really was and why. Mm. Because he went to the war, was captured as a prisoner of war, mm. made a little documentary and then got sent back, and he was hate, fatal. And that's, that's the story. Yeah. And, and what was great about it was, the, about the fourth day of shooting, a little guy walks up to me and he introduces himself. He says, hi, I'm Tom. I said, hi. He said, I, I said, what do you do? He says, oh, I'm the night editor at the Waco Journal. I said, really? He said, I also wrote this book. And he says, but if you think you're bad in this book, I'm just finishing writing about a guy who's much worse than Michael Lander in Black Sunday. I said, there can't be a guy. Oh, yeah. Because Thomas Harris's second book was Silence of the Lambs. <laughs>